After years of hard work by some of the best minds at NASA, the crucial moment has arrived. 320 million kilometers away, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft will try to make brief contact with the boulder-packed surface of asteroid Bennu. The van-sized machine aiming for a tennis court-sized crater named Nightingale. We're going to actually leave our orbit and we're going to go in and actually tag or touch and go because we can't land on this asteroid with the low gravity. Um, we're going to touch the, sand, um, the surface, we're going to stir it up and we're going to collect some of this regolith material so that then we can bring that back to Earth here in another three years and really study this material. Only the Japanese space agency has ever conducted such a mission and it remains fraught with danger. There's one boulder just to the east of the sample site that within the team we've affectionately called Mount Doom. <laughs> it's, it's about the size of a two and a half story building. And the spacecraft is literally flying over that boulder before then dropping into the tag site. When they make contact with Bennu, scientists say they'll be reaching back in time to collect a handful of the early carbon-rich ingredients that made up our solar system some 4.5 billion years ago. It is expected to answer important questions about how life developed on Earth and maybe even help to save it. With a diameter around the height of the Empire State Building, Bennu is considered a potentially hazardous asteroid that could strike us in around 150 years' time. The samples will give scientists of the future a better idea of how to move or destroy it if necessary.